for me, the Riverside wasn't just an arts venue. It was somewhere you could go and hang out. I seriously had some dates there. I thought that if I had a date with a girl in Riverside, I would look sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I deliberately did the Cherry Orchard as the opening production because I thought what will be a thing that people will not expect a quote-unquote community arts centre to do. And it was important for us that there was always a connection with the, the, the local community. There was this wonderful sense of accessibility mingled with actually some pretty high art. There was a vibrancy. People weren't there with a sort of sense of expectation which was I don't, I don't remember that feeling in other places. It was uh, a bit muddled, a bit ramshackle, or bohemian, whichever you preferred. We were part of something by being there. They brought me, like, in, to their hearts. And for young black people at the time, there were very few places to go, full stop. It was very neutral ground. It, did, it didn't belong to the English Stage Company, it wasn't part of the National Theatre, it wasn't part of the Royal Shakespeare. It was all these disparate era elements that came there. It was the most incredible space because there was always somewhere where you could go and practice your art. Art is not a luxury. That was on all of the letters that went out, all the invitations. And I think everybody really believed that, you know, from the artists to the technicians to the programmers to the box office. That was, you know, that was really how we felt. The whole building had um, an, an air of involvement in the work. I got to know everybody, from the box office to the front of the house to the audiences after every show. It was friendly and lots of nice people there and it was lovely, it was lovely. I can honestly say that, that working at Riverside was one of the most exciting things I've ever done. I remember Riverside being a really vibrant kind of it place. It was the place. I suppose what we achieved was that we didn't treat Hammersmith as if it was just nowhere. It became a centre of excellence, and rightly so. Riverside Studios is like an international art festival under one roof. Innovation, cutting edge. This incredible mix of theatre, dance, TV, comedy, music. Great deal of fun. You know, what theatre should be? You're meeting all the great artists of your era. They all went through our doors. You literally didn't know if you were going to bump into Samuel Beckett or Dario Fo. You know, there are a lot of ghosts here, you know, a lot of sort of healthy ghosts in the place. The history of this place is incredible. Riverside Studios definitely sits on fertile ground. Riverside today is built off this incredible legacy of artistic excellence, of creative experimentation. What goes on on the stage is of the highest possible standard. If I could sum up Riverside in three words, it would be home from home. And I look forward to coming home soon. <laughs>